Welcome, my name is Sandra Popoma from Hippologic and on my blog I have a post Do it yourself healthy horse treats So today I'm making a video um, of making the horse treats This is how they look like in the end And um, the last time I made them I uh, used up all my cinnamon but half of uh, the batch I made last time was with turmeric and Kira really loved turmeric too. So what I have here is um, five cups of brown rice, cooked rice, um, but I needed six so I added one cup of flaxseed and then the recipe says one cup of grounded flaxseed. I like to uh, uh, do a little bit of both because the structure I like the structure uh, for my Dutch friends this is a cup it says 240 milliliters uh, I still want to weigh it one time so I can show you how much grams it is because we do the gram thing in the Netherlands so this is my turmeric this is my half a cup of flour and it's 120 milliliters then you need uh, parchment uh, paper, a roller, a pizza cutter, uh, a bowl, and I have two cookie sheets with parchment paper already. And I also have a little bit of uh, pure vanilla extract. Uh, maybe I'm gonna use that. I I wonder if Kira would like that. I don't know if it's a good combination with turmeric. Well, we'll see. Um, directions. Preheat the oven to 270 degrees. 275 degrees Fahrenheit. It's uh, 135 uh, degrees Celsius. So I already did that. That's my oven. And I lined two cookie sheets. I cooked the rice, I cooked the rice yesterday so it's already cold and I'm gonna make the um, dough and it's really really sticky so I took off my wedding ring and I'm gonna put the camera down to do it. Basically you just throw in everything at the same time. So that's nice and easy. program that everything looks so quickly well it is quick if you just don't see the preparations of cooking the rice for half an hour and cleaning the kitchen and putting everything in those neat bowls so it looks like really cooking and stuff like that um, if you just cook the rice, the rice is more moist, so you will um, get a sticky dough. Now it's quite dry, as you can see. I'm going to put in the flour. Just stir it in. And then I'm just going to put in some water. It will be interesting to see how much water, because every time I make this recipe, it's a little bit different. But it always turns out quite good, so I'm not worried. I think it's not really a lot of turmeric, so I'm gonna put in uh, some vanilla extract. That smells really good to me. Let's see how much water I need. I start with one cup. And if it's too wet, it will have to stay longer in the oven. Okay. I'm gonna put another cup in there. And I'm gonna stir it and then I'm gonna knead it. So. 
as you can see it's really sticky to my hands not so much to itself but um, the first time I uh, read that this recipe it said make little balls out of it so I started to make little balls and it took for ages so I don't do that anymore I just put it on the sheet now and then I roll it with the rolling pin and then I cut it with the uh, pizza cutter and then I uh, put it in the oven and uh, that's more than enough work for me so yeah I'm gonna put this on the sheet and uh, make it flat and I make it like I don't know like one centimeter like half an inch or something not too thick so um, because otherwise it, it will take too long to uh, bake okay I'll see you in the next step so this is how it looks like if I uh, rolled it out on uh, on cookie sheet um, but uh, I won't let you see how much mess it gives and how sticky it is on the rolling pin I didn't have enough flour to cover the rolling pin and my hands got sticky too all the things but well whatever we cut that out and then we pre-cut the cookies in the size we want and make them like an inch by an inch this is how I do it and in this way I can break the cookies after they are cooked in decent size now they are both pre-cut and they're ready to go in the oven the white stuff is just flour that I needed for my rolling pin so this is uh, two hours later I have turned them around twice and now they are nice and crisp and hot and because they are pre-cut pre you can um, break them into bite-size snacks Ow. <laughs> thank you very much for watching and let me know if you make them and how they turn out and I would love to see a video of your horse eating them Thank you very much. Bye-bye.